Suffolk horse owner is worried about the well-being of her animal. Bella threw its owner off on Memorial Day and has not been seen since. There's been an ongoing search for that missing horse. And then in your sides, Art Cons in Suffolk. He joins us now with what has become command central in the search for that missing animal. And Art, time is really becoming a factor now. Yeah, it definitely is, Nicole. You know, we are on uh, just outside Whaleyville on Cypress Chapel Road near the area where Bella was last seen. And every hour that this horse is missing is another hour without food and water. Now, because there have been no reported sightings of Bella thus far, the belief is that the horse may be somewhere in this thick wooded area behind me. And that is a bad place for a runaway horse to be. Riders from the Easy Does It Ranch in Virginia Beach joined the search and despite their exhaustive efforts, found no sign of the missing horse. We, uh, we took as many paths as we could push them through. We probably went places most people have never been because yeah. there was no horse tracks. Unless you know what it's like to own a horse, it's an animal that most would consider as simply livestock. For Bella's owner, Donnie Joe Atkins, this horse is much more. It's a family member. It's very, it's very upsetting. She's out there and she doesn't know where she's at. And she's probably either hung up or, you know, I'd hate to think of her as injured. Right now, Bella is a ghost. As of right now, we have not had any calls into our dispatch center or at the animal care facility in reference to any sightings of the horse. Bella is actually a black horse, although in the picture posted on Facebook, she appears to be brown because of the sun. Bella is also about the same height as this horse right here, about 17 hands tall, which you would think would make her easy to spot. But if this animal is in the woods, that's not the case. And it also presents another complication. And all of this stuff can get caught up on any of those brushes, the limbs, it's thick. We need to find this animal. And we need to find this horse. And we need to find this horse today. We're running out of time. Yeah, and you know, throughout the day, there have been a lot of volunteers showing up to do the search. I have a couple of riders that are just coming back now. Uh, you guys have been down where looking at? We've been down the road. Uh, we had one gentleman said that he heard a horse hollering in the woods. So we went back down in the woods. And then we had another uh, a lady say that there's a swamp section back there. And she was concerned that maybe the horse went back there to get a drink of water or something, maybe got stuck down in the bog, but we didn't see anything. All right, well, thank you for looking. By the way, we want to let you know that if you see anything, you could contact David Prim. He manages the stables where Bella was boarded. That number is 757-556-5967. I'll give it to you one more time, 757 757- 5565967 or you could contact the Suffolk Animal Control reporting live from Suffolk Art Con 10 on your side